Hi guys, my name is Russell and I make videos about iRacing here on YouTube. Got something a little bit different, just a quick tutorial for you today. Um, I'm going to show you how to take beautiful ultra high res screenshots in iRacing without that dreaded iRacing watermark down in the corner. Here's how it's done. So as many of you are probably already aware, you can take uh, sort of basic full screen resolution screenshots within iRacing relatively easily. Uh, if you're not sure how to do it, we just go over to the options menu and under options, we have got uh, the option of video capture and screenshot capture. Now you can just click here and assign that to any control or button that you fancy. Um, mine's set to uh, shift alt s and um, when i do that it'll just save a screenshot in my iRacing folder in a subfolder called screenshots straightforward enough but it'll only take it at the lowly resolution of my monitor which is not particularly impressive um, and it will add a whacking great iRacing watermark down in the bottom right -hand corner of the picture luckily we can work around that we're not limited to that we also have the ability to press shift control and print screen and that will output a super high res picture without the watermark for you um, but there are a few things that we need to get straight before we can do that uh, so we need to have a look in our iRacing folder which is in documents uh, and iRacing by default on your Windows PC and in there you will find the app any file and we're just going to nip in there real quick and this controls uh, some of the sort of core elements of the game software so down at the very very bottom there's a dev use only section and we are looking specifically for the x height and the x width section now we need to make sure those are set correctly before we try and take are super high res screenshots uh, because otherwise um, the images are going to come out all weird and misshapen and compressed um, so we need to get this right so uh, to do this correctly you need to know what resolution you have currently on your computer uh, and that's very easy to find you just right click go down to display settings um, and then scroll down a bit and you'll find here's my resolution I'm using a ultra widescreen monitor. It's 2560 by 1080. So when we go back to the um, app any file, and we're down at the bottom here, what we need to do is whatever height and width we select here, it needs to be a multiple of whatever our screen resolution is. So in this instance, I've doubled my screen resolution to give me the equivalent of a 4k screenshot so the height of the screenshot that I want to have is 2160 pixels by a width of 5120 it's really important that you get that right it has to be a multiple of whatever your actual screen resolution is um, and what it will do I'll show you here let's, uh, let's just take a screenshot of what we've got here I'm pressing spacebar to get rid of the UI um, but I'm pretty sure that's the default control for that so I'm going to press shift control and print screen and it's going to uh, throw up a save replay screen now it's not actually a replay we're saving it's actually a high res screenshot so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click into screenshots I'm going to say give it a name high res and it's going to save it as a TGA, TGA file which is the only file type that it will let you save it to and what it will do is it will take equal size chunk screenshots stitch them together for you in a nice high resolution the resolution of your choosing um, and then when you go to view them you've got a beautiful high res screenshot with no watermark attached lovely just what the doctor ordered um, if you would like to learn more about how to take really nice screenshots in iRacing 
uh, then I'm doing another video on that. So stay tuned for that. I will add it up here in the corner of the screen uh, when it's done. Um, so have a good one, guys. Uh, and if I don't see you before in my next video, hopefully I'll see you out there on the track. Cheers.